I feel it's really important to create work that actually speaks off the site and speaks to people of what it is. I think every project is a challenge because for me it's like I'm dealing with a totally different set of circumstances. I've been fortunate that some projects I've worked on, you get a, a period of about a week or two weeks where you can be resident. So I've had a chance to kind of use that time to meet people, to walk. It's not always about constantly making or thinking, it's about just being in a place. And in some ways as an outsider coming in, I have the benefit in a sense of you know, discovering a lot about that place in a short space of time. Some people may live in a place and actually not know certain things about it, despite the fact that they've lived there for a very long time. And that's why projects like this are always exciting, because I get to you know, go up and down the country and experience new places. If I was just to work in my studio all the time, I probably wouldn't get that opportunity. So. About a year and a half ago, I took my husband for a birthday treat. I booked a weekend down at Freshwater Bay. I felt that I wanted to explore the area and uh, so I took him down and we went for a walk from Freshwater all the way across to uh, across um, Tennyson Down. And I had no idea what was at the other end, to be honest, and it was probably one of the hottest days in the summer and so the, the sea was absolutely calm and it was very hot and we just took our time and I photographed a great deal on the way and we got to West High Down and discovered these gantries or these kind of platforms and had no idea what they were for. A lot of concrete everywhere and, and slowly as we started to explore I, I, I kind of realised that this was actually, you know, what it was, a rocket testing site. So I started to photograph the space and that, the archaeology of the site, which is what it is, it's all that's left um, below ground. And I, I came away and, and felt really excited about what I'd taken. And again, I kind of came away thinking, well, I'm not quite sure what that was about, but I, I'll just sit with it, as you do with, uh, often with artwork. About, um, I suppose, 10 months later, when I submitted for the open competition at the Key Arts, I then discovered that they had given me the first prize, which was uh, an exhibition at the Key Arts. So basically I had a shorter space of time to sort of start thinking about developing work and I went back to West High Down and I took mo more photographs and I spent more time kind of meeting people and finding out about that. And it just, all, all as soon as I knew I had the show, I just knew that I wanted to focus on that place. What I've done is I've taken an element, like a detail, and I have enlarged it to just recreate the sort of the the light quality in that space and placed um, uh, etched glass on top. Now this is work in progress so what ha has happened or what will be happening is that the the glass will have a, a, a plan view of the site uh, silk screened and fired onto the surface of the glass. The, the image uh, on each glass uh, will be kind of a map you could say, off the place. What I've really kind of tried to do in this work is to kind of represent uh, my experience of being in the space. And so I've kind of pulled together a series of four images which have been kind of literally laid next to each other. And yet they've been selected in such a way that your sense or experience, looking at the images, you don't necessarily read them as four separate photographs, but really only as one. And so you are kind of traversing that space uh, and going in and out of those rooms and really experiencing the kind of views out, the views in, the views down and the views up. And so, for instance, here you've got the views down into, um, if I can recall, from the pump room down into the area where you've got the uh, blast door leading to the viewing room. Here you're in the pump room itself. And uh, there's very little left there now, but there are still some, there's still some infrastructure in terms of pumps and, and some big pipe work. I realised quite early on that that is just the way I work. And 
and that is how uh, even when I did my PhD I realized you know I had a supervisor telling me just go in the studio and make you know and from the making process comes the kind of development of ideas but actually for me it doesn't work like that I, I feel the need to do the research first to really develop the ideas and then slowly it begins to kind of emerge through the work and I find, find that it's not just in the public realm work that I do that and I, I, I really embrace that in my personal work and so that's why a project like uh, the one I'm doing at the moment on the island is so important because you know I discovered something about the history of the place and somehow it sparked a real sense of excitement and a real sense of discovery and having done that I did you know, some research and met people and, and one thing led to another and, and it's kind of really come through in the work and, I, and that, that excites me and that, that's, I suppose it's what turns me on ultimately with my artwork. Thank you.